we shall reflect on the life of Saint Ignatius of Laconi. Saint Ignatius of Laconi was born on the 10th of December 1701 in Sardinia, the second of seven children of Mattia and Anna Maria Pace. He was baptized Francis Ignatius Vincent. He grew up to be an illiterate and delicate boy of frail health, for whom the hard labor of his father's land was a severe strain. When he was about 17, he fell seriously ill and promised to offer his life to St. Francis of Assisi should he recover. He did recover, but his father was in no hurry to let him go. Today or tomorrow, this year or next, it's all the same. There's no need to keep your promise at once, he would say. However, an alarming experience with a runaway horse stiffened Vincent's resolve. His father's expostulations notwithstanding, Vincent made his way to St. Benedict's Friary near Cagliari, where on the 10th of November 1721, he was accepted as a Capuchin lay brother. There were the usual trials of the novice. When it was time for his profession, Ignatius's case seemed doubtful, but he redoubled his efforts to carry out to perfection all he was called upon to do. And so at the end of 1722, Ignatius was allowed to take his vows. The life of a lay brother being by and large uneventful, for the next 20 years little is known about Ignatius except that he made steady progress in the love of God and men. In 1471, he was sent out to beg for alms, an occupation he continued for the remaining 40 years of his life. Simultaneously, he somehow made time to visit the sick and to teach the ignorant an activity that left him with hardly any time for prayer during the day. Ignatius would pray thus late into the night, sleeping barely an hour or two with a log for a pillow. His health, however, stood him in good stead right up to his 80th year. In 1781, he was confined to bed and died on the 11th of May that year. St. Ignatius of Laconi was canonized on the 21st of October 1951 by Pope Pius XII.